I'm Mike Arola, and I'm a previous postdoc at Dr. Yusuf Anun's lab, and now an assistant professor at Stony Brook University. Today I'd like to tell you about a recent paper about the structure and activation mechanism of neutral sphingomyelinase 2, and at the same time give you a brief tour of Stony Brook University. So neutral sphingomyelinase 2 is a membrane-associated enzyme that generates the bioactive lipid ceramide and is involved in processes such as cancer and neurological disease. Biochemically, this enzyme has low basal activity and is activated by lipids such as phosphatidylserine. We are trying to understand how lipids activate neutral sphingomyelinase 2 using X-ray crystallography and lipid biochemistry. So what we discovered was that enzymase 2 consists of two parts. A membrane-associated part that binds phosphatidylserine and a soluble catalytic domain. And these two parts and directly interact to activate the catalytic domain. We were able to understand how this happens by using the first crystal structure of the catalytic domain. So to determine the structure of neutral sphingomyelinase 2, we had to screen thousands of different conditions. And we did that here at the Stony Brook Structural Biology Center. It's equipped with a robot dispenser for setting up um, trays, as well as a hotel for storage of these trays and imaging analysis. So to get the enzyme to crystallize, we had to use a few tricks. One of the tricks we used was to excise a fragment of the protein that was involved in regulating its stability inside of cells, but was not important for the catalytic activity. And we took important steps to show that by removing this fragment, the protein was still fully functional. But what we found was that the entrance to the active site is blocked by a conserved motif that we termed the DK switch. And this motif was not only involved in blocking the active site, but was also important for catalysis, allosteric activation through this interdomain interaction, and lipid activation by phosphatidylserine. So in conclusion, we were able to present the first structure-based model for the activation of neutral sphingomyelinase 2, with a confirmation of the DK switch changes due to um, binding of the internal domain and phosphatidylserine to turn the enzyme from off to on. Uh, of course, we didn't answer all the questions in this work, and so we're now trying to directly visualize the activated um, state of ensimase 2, as well as to test our hypotheses using more detailed biophysical studies. Thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope you check out the actual article, and thank you to all my colleagues for all their hard work, the NIH for support, Stony Brook University, and the Stony Brook Cancer Center, which you can see below you. Thank you.